an African child who's being educated by my parents, Knowledge Prep has given me the opportunity to experience learning with my family that I can use for life. I am better able to express myself and imagine a future where I am whole, empowered, and confident. to the Knowledge Prep Community Introductory Guide. And we formed this introductory guide in order to give parents a preview of a lot of the things that we have in store in our Knowledge Prep University, uh, specifically the course content mm -hmm. and, and how this content is going to create the learning environment that we need within our households. Yeah. All right, so let's go ahead and get into it. So the first thing we want to discuss is why we created Knowledge Prep. Knowledge prep arose from an urgent need that we saw in the education of our first son. After realizing the level of miseducation he was being subjected to based on public school standards, we developed a unique educational model to challenge him to reach his full potential. Mainstream schooling delayed his progress and left him behind in a way that his actual intelligence was stunted. After exposing him to material far above his grade level, he was able to easily comprehend, retain, and apply this knowledge to his everyday life. In addition to producing high-quality critical thinkers who are proud of their culture, Knowledge Prep supplies our children with the needed self-esteem to be dynamic leaders in every arena of life. Exactly, exactly. And another reason why we knew we needed to create Knowledge Prep was because we got so many inquiries and people reaching out to us when we were posting our content about homeschooling our son here on the continent and we felt that it was important that we create something for black youth to be able to you know learn with their families in a home setting yes so what is knowledge prep knowledge prep is qualitatively superior to college prep in its intentional focus on the cultivating of cultural literacy in our children through interactive learning in a family slash community environment it's interactive because it values the molding of character through deep questioning and dialogue. It is family-centered because it reinforces healthy dynamics within the family home. Right, right. And this is something that is, you're never going to get this in um, traditional private school um, or uh, public school. You're not going to get this type of you know, family-centeredness, interactiveness that is really important and helps our children to retain the knowledge that we give them. So the benefits of knowledge prep. The first benefit is um, that it fosters bonding in the home. Um, yes, and bonding fosters learning mm -hmm. because when we bond with our children, we're not just equipping them intellectually, but we're equipping them emotionally. Right. So that, that parent-child dynamic is strengthened through the educational process. And this is why it's so important that we turn our households into learning centers and that way, we're um, adding to the health of our overall family. I say. Um, the next benefit is um, parents are the first and most important teachers of our children. Yes, and parents, not only are they the most important teachers, but we're also supposed to protect our children. And the way we do that is by giving them the knowledge that they can use to um, uh, energize themselves so that they can accomplish all the goals that they need to accomplish in life. Right. And, and we do that through asserting our role as our children's teachers. Right, right. Um, parents who teach link intellectual and emotional development together. Yes, and that just reiterates what I said before. Um, we have to understand that through our teaching practice, we're modeling um, proper behavior for our children, and we're teaching them a kind of literacy where they know how to deal with their peers and they know how to deal with elders. So that emotional development is very key when we're talking about home learning. Right, right. Teachers in Western school systems are not invested in our children as much as their parents are. Yes, and this is something that we really have to take note of um, as people who live, uh, are used to live in a society that was dominated by the public school system. Mm -hmm. um, we have to have teachers who are invested in the total holistic development of our children. Otherwise, they are going to be consumed by negative influences. So we want to make sure we're positively impacting our children 
as parents, and that means spending the time and energy into making sure that they can excel in all areas of life. Right. The next thing is teaching in the home models learning as a full-time activity and not just something that happens inside a school setting. Right. And this is something that we can reach back and find in our ancient traditions in the Congolese concept of the Sadulu or the movie classroom. That means everywhere we go, we should be looking to transform that into a teachable moment so that we can give our children the knowledge that they need, that they can um, apply later in life. And that makes them more um, skilled and more proficient just as you know, community members. Right, right. The next one, and one of the most important ones for us is children appreciate the fact that you are sacrificing and valuing their education, and it changes how they interact with you as a, as a parent. Exactly. And it's, we don't want to focus too much on formal qualifications because that gets in the way of the type of appreciation that can exist between a, a parent and child. Because remember, when we're teaching our children, we're prioritizing their development. Right. And that is understood by our children. So we have to begin to value this um, knowledge prep model as a way of redefining what um, good parenthood looks like. And good parenthood is, is making sure our children can develop on that psychological level as well. Right, right. Lastly, is parents who teach their children are giving them a cultural education. Right, and that just means children are more receptive to teachers who look like them, and in our case, um, who share their DNA. Mm -hmm. So we have to begin um, valuing that because when you as a parent present yourself as a teacher, you're teaching that child that they can one day occupy that position of authority. Mm -hmm. So we're preparing our children not just for intelligence, but for sovereignty. I'm sure, I'm sure. Moving on is, let's talk about the truth. The truth is that college prep is obsolete. If you are still setting your child up for college prep, then you are setting them up for failure. Right. And college, as we all know, not only is it expensive, but it's an extension of a lot of the miseducation that happens in earlier grades. Mm -hmm. So we have to begin to value our homes as colleges, mean our homes as learning centers, and not rely so much on these um, westernized models of learning. Because right. remember, these models are not tailored to our particular interests as African people. Right, right. Next is universities are miseducating our children. Not only is college becoming obsolete, but it is only through our own culture that we can give ourselves the key to advance in every area of life. Correct. And our culture is our immune system. Mm -hmm. So it gives us all the guidelines and all the the ways and methods that we need to advance in life. So mm -hmm. remember, when we um, value and center culture in our educational process, we're centering that thing that activates us to gain the maximum amount of power. Yeah, yeah. And lastly, the truth is public schools are just not safe for our children. Schooling in the West has increasingly become dangerous to our children's mental and physical well-being. Yes, and this can't be overstated enough. Um, we see the headlines in the news with mm -hmm. the string of mass shootings um, that, is, that are physically endangering our children. But apart from that physical endangerment, we also have the mental endangerment of curricula without self-empowering and self-affirming images. Which is just as dangerous. Which is just as dangerous, if not more. So we want to emphasize the importance and the vitalness of having um, self-affirming positive imagery and um, lesson plans mm -hmm. uh, in the rearing um, of our children. And knowledge prep um, was developed with that goal in mind. Right. So let's go to the next slide. Where we're talking more about the content in which we have created for our Black youth. Right. And the learning content um, that we have in this particular uh, edition of Knowledge Prep features eight courses, all of which were customized to do what I said in the prior um, slide, which is to um, invigorate and to energize our children to value themselves on a deeper level, uh, to see themselves in a global context, meaning connecting themselves with the African population, and then applying that knowledge so that they can grow and prosper um, in every arena of life. So quickly, the eight classes we have is The Power of Your Skin, The Superpower of Melanie, Herbal Medicine, The, the Art of um, Healing, uh, Dispelling the Lies We've Been Told About Africa, uh, wisdom of the Congo, the spirituality and cosmology of our ancestors, the African tradition of sacred forest, um, the importance of forest in Africa, the African origins and meanings of chess, uh, understanding comedic heritage, and lastly, astronomy and African thought 
a history of the Hornets. Right, and these are all classes that you would never get in any other setting. Right. So we, and that was the purpose that we wanted to to give. We wanted to give them something that they're not going to get somewhere else. And each one of these um, presentations has images filled of people that look just like you and just like your children. Yes. So that's extremely powerful. Um, also, this is just the first installment. We are going to be making more classes in the future. So if you have a child who is interested in a certain topic, please feel free to send us over that information and we can decide if we can make a class on it. But we chose these because these are things that we feel are important and can empower our children and just their self-esteem and their knowledge level. Yes. All right, moving on to what is um, Knowledge Prep again? Tailored for Black youth, promotes healthy whole bonds between mm -hmm. parents and children, doesn't rely on standardized tests or grades to evaluate competence, focuses intensely on one subject for extended periods, giving an in-depth analysis, has practical applications for healthy living, builds a whole and meaningful self-esteem in the learner, stimulates future search for knowledge in the learner, exposes children to vocabulary and terms that they would not be introduced to through traditional schooling, is built upon content that is not age specific so both children and adults can find it useful, taught in a family setting, elevates the parent as a teacher of their children which fosters respect, and intentionally designed by a black family who permanently moved to Africa in the year 2020. Yeah. And this is just an image of our family, just because we thought it was important for people to see the image of the people who created this content, because that's very important. Right, and that's when we envision knowledge prep, this was the goal, mm -hmm. which was to reinforce that trinity, that, that sacred unity of the African family, the mother, the father, and the child. And when we uh, recenter um, that um, image, when we recenter that concept, um, we will begin to have all the answers that we need, not only educationally, but um, overall. Right. And lastly, we just want to say Asante Sana, and we offer our sincere thanks to our parents who entrust us with the education of their children. You can now purchase the Knowledge Prep content um, at witnessourdivine.com, and we thank you again. Thank you for holding it. Thank you for holding it.